Hey guys, what's up? Time for this bucket review. And tomorrow is Moana 2. I'm so excited. Um, pretty much got my Moana 2 <laughs> costume ready. As you can see by this. <laughs> Been wearing it all day. Um, it's obviously wasn't noticeable because it blends in with my shirt. <clears throat> and you probably, it was probably hard to see the excitement. <laughs> And of course, I got this chicken. I got him, 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 the chicken. Oh, I should probably do a review of this chicken first. It's pretty much exactly how it's exactly how people have been showing it in their videos. Just demonstrating. I think I did do a bit short video of of him, but I want to do it again before the bucket. <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be so interesting with this chicken. <laughs> How did you get food on you, hen hen? <laughs> this is going to be so interesting. I so far only told one person who is not a regal, um... Um, Regal fan, uh, friend slash worker about what's going on tomorrow. <laughs> but anyway, but they don't, they don't know the details. I just said that I was going to be there tomorrow. But anyway, let's go on with this. Like I said, I was going to do it in a separate video because I like this, which like I said, it's... Despite its price, 35 and that it's a nacho bowl, in my opinion, it's a still a great gift for pretty much anyone who loves Moana. And, well, it's obviously looks like a toy, so pretty much it would be like the perfect toy for your kids. And also, um... The other day, I thought of the crazy idea of using it for m and So pretty much the next time I'm going to use it, it's not going to be for nachos. It's going to be an m and boat. <laughs> As you see, Moana is safe and safe inside. <clears throat> okay, so on with this bucket. Which is cool. But here's the thing. I'm going to show the... um. <sighs> Sorry about this. I'm going to show you the little, um, like, things you need to be aware of about it and how you can wash it if you tend to, oops, tend to use it for popcorn. Let me give Venom out so you can... Why am I taking Venom out? Because they have a similar design and the similar design and me explain, comparing it to Venom will help you understand what I'm going on here okay okay see how Venom his design is completely like straight down the middle and that's pretty much how they like merged the bucket together with him well that's pretty much the weakness to this bucket despite how cool it looks and how cool it actually is. That's probably, unfortunately, that's the weakness to keeping the butter in, especially if you're gonna use it multiple times. Cause after the fifth, sixth time, by the time I used it for the like fourth or fifth time, this started leaking butter out of the bottom. And my sixth time, it got to the point that it was just impossible to hold the butter in, in the bucket itself. There was just a mess everywhere. So, the reason I'm explaining this part, which is because this bucket has a similar design. As you can see, like right here, 
it has that similar center design and it goes from like here to here but then it stops for this opening and the opening is like this to make it open but then it turns back to that center design and it goes from like here to here and then luckily it goes back to that circle design so where you need this part where you need to worry about butter coming out is like right here pretty much when it's like this you have to work if you don't want to like be all buttery hands you just have to worry about not putting your hand here because that's where the butter will start leaking it will start leaking from here and if you're planning to use it for popcorn my advice is to wash it right afterwards because not only does butter leak from this part because of the design butter actually gets trapped within the circle part of it and the way to wash that to make it real easy to wash without having to stick your hand into here and try to get it all out especially with the butter and popcorn that gets trapped in the corner is to unscrew the bottom there is there are seven screws they are very tiny and you need a screwdriver kind of like this kind of small not that not that fancy might seem fancy depending on what kind of screwdrivers you have you just gotta not lose them i will take them i'll take one off to show you just how small of a screwdriver it is but once you take the bottom off it's actually very much easier to wash i don't think you can be able to see that but that's how small it is so yeah once you take this bottom off by removing the screws it will be very easy to simply go in there wash it out especially especially when you go in there and really scrub in this part because that's where the butter gets stuck the most after you have your popcorn sitting in there for quite a while and it gets stuck in here so when removing the bottom it actually helps you get in here and in here most of all you're able to get in here but you can simply get in in this part by opening this but it's actually much easier to take the bottom lid off that way you can not you know not worry about breaking this part But as for this part, this part you cannot take off. I, I try to by trying to pull it, but it's impossible. So in order to like wash that part, all you have to do is, well first when you put the bottom, before you even take the bottom off, unless you want to do it after you take the bottom off and got make sure you got all that butter out. You like put the bottom back on make sure your sink is empty and just run this entire bucket <clears throat> through like warm water like warm hot water just running through water in order to like get that part just like running through water even put soap in this if you want and just run it with water like for like as much time as you want to to get that part and if you do put soap in it for the running water process and there's soap stuck in there then you just need to run it with water again until all the soap is out and then afterwards then let it dry both this 
then let it dry with the lid off. That way it'll be easier for the air drying process to go through it all. I don't know. It's actually very good as a popcorn bucket, probably just once. It's great for collectors, if you're a collector. And if you want to use it for something else, any random ideas like I like doing, then that's great. But I think it's also a great idea for like a gift. Because obviously it's like made in a way that it's a toy. Especially with the prize. So I think it's definitely worth the money if you want to buy this for a Moana fan or a kid. So yeah. Especially the fact that you can like literally just throw things in there. So definitely it's something. Sorry. Yeah, I'm definitely going to turn this into an M M bow the next time I use it. So yeah, with this, you got to put effort into washing it. Like, you can't just stick your hand in it and go scrubby scrub. If you really want to clean it, you have to take the bottom off. That way, you won't have to risk breaking the lid. But forget, if you're getting this for a kid and they're going to try and fill it up with water, which I tried during the washing process, it is possible. But don't be surprised if the water starts, leak, the starts leaking out. And where it will leak out is not only where the parts that I mentioned that butter is going to leak out, but it's also going to leak through here. It's pretty much, water's pretty much going to leak through every part, every part where there's a crack. Meaning pretty much wherever that the people who made these connected, connected the, um, the model of the bucket. Unlike the butter where it gets trapped or leaks out in certain places, water just comes out wherever it's able to. Other than that, when I was running water through this, it was going, it was filling up. Why, you know, it was just running now at the same time. So, and I'm pretty sure a kid would love to have this just for fun anyway. <laughs> My niece tried to play with the boat <laughs> already the moment she saw it. So anyway, I think the boat is worth getting, despite the price. And for this, gonna use it for popcorn. You have to take the bottom off in order to actually wash it. Other than that, the Moana, the, the Moana model, I I really like it. It's amazing. It's just amazing, like. It's pretty much as good as the Moana for the nacho boat. That's all I can say. Um, my favorite out of all these will have to be the nacho boat because it's the only thing that I have that's not a popcorn bucket. And I can pretty much think of any snacks to fill it up with. As for buckets... I can't really decide an official one yet because so far I have been able to like think of so many ideas to do with most of them. Yeah, so that is hard to decide and it's hard to decide which one is the coolest. <laughs> anyway, that's the review for this. And Moana is tomorrow, so... Have a nice day or night, whichever you, wherever, whatever timeline it is where you guys are. And see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>